Hi, I'm Ellen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be setting up my bullet journal for July. This month I decided that I would donate all of my AdSense revenue to Black Lives Matter causes because of course there has been so much rightful protest about the murders of unarmed black bodies in our country, which is terrible and I think the only upside would be that people are really waking up to the issues we have in our country. So all of my ad revenue for June will be donated to organizations, um, hopefully local organizations that will help make a bigger impact with this donation. If you have an organization you'd like to suggest, feel free to put it in the comments down below, but I am continuing to do some research on who needs the money um, and where it'll be best served. I hope that going into the future this will continue to be a topic that stays on people's minds and that we keep learning and unlearning because that's really important. Um, a lot of this is work that we need to do within ourselves to recognize and combat the racial prejudice and bias we have in ourselves, as well as having conversations with the people around us, our friends and families. So I encourage you to continue doing that. And with that very long introduction, I will dive into my bullet journal. So we are diving into my Reflaris bullet journal. This month, I wanted to take some inspiration from the Black Lives Matter movement, but I did struggle a bit with what imagery would be appropriate for me to use. Um, I landed on adding some white birds to an all-black page for my monthly spread. I don't know that it really captures what I was going for, and I was left thinking about how whiteness leaks into the symbols we use, and how even just thinking about the different connotations between a dove and a crow kind of mirror how we see whiteness and blackness, which, you know, made me a little bit hesitant about the spread. But ink was on paper, and so I decided to just keep going. I did keep with just black and white for this spread, so I mostly used my Tombow dual brush pen for the black, occasionally throwing in my gel pen as well as the Micron plastic nib pen, which will all be linked in the description down below. I added in the numbers of the day on each of the squares for the month. Moving on to the next page, I was creating my YouTube tracker for the month. So this is just basically another monthly spread, but one where I only put down things that I'm doing for YouTube. So different videos that I'm creating and the progress that I have made on those videos. I also will put in pencil my plans for the month and then later in pen, we'll go back in with what I actually uploaded. So if you have any video ideas Ideas or things you'd like to see from me feel free to leave them in the comments and we'll see about getting those made I like to keep track of also how many subscribers I had at the beginning of the month and the end of the month just as some way to keep track of my progress and so that I'm not checking it all of the time and driving myself crazy this is the part where I will track the progress of my videos so I'll just mark out you know, what stage I'm in, whether I've filmed the video, if I've started editing, and which pieces of the edit are complete. On the other side of this two-page spread, I wanted to have a place to put things that I wanted to watch, read, or listen in terms of the Black Lives Matter movement, so different education tools that are out there that I can be educating myself with and so I just wanted to be able to keep track of the things that I wanted to look into as well as something I learned from them after I have been able to spend time with it. So some of the things that I put down right away are See You Yesterday and When They See Us, which are both movies that you can see on Netflix. And I also put down two books that I'm really interested in reading. One is How to Be an Anti-Racist by 
Ibram X. Kendi, and then I'm also really interested in reading I'm Still Here, Black Dignity in a World Made for Whiteness by Austin Channing Brown. I listened to a podcast that Austin Channing Brown was a guest on. Um, it's Brene Brown's podcast. I will link the episode in the description as well. I thought it was really interesting and it definitely made me want to check out her book. Um, here I'm just working on my first weekly spread. It is super simple and honestly didn't love how it turned out, but it's okay. Uh, I just wanted to have a huge chunk of space for to-dos. Not that I really have that much to do, but there's also not really events going on, so that's just kind of what I figured I'd put. Um, and I just went through and put the numbers along the side. This is the part where I wasn't in love with how it looked, just partially because it was the end of one month and beginning of another, so I thought that the numbers looked a little weird. I also marked out the days of the week so I can put in my habits to track later, and that's basically it for my weekly spread. On the other half of the page, I will either do some more typical like stream of consciousness journaling or just move on to the next weekly spread. I haven't really decided yet. Now we will go back and do the flip through. So here is the first monthly page for July. I had it mostly blacked out with space for each day of the month to write down any events, if there are any, um, and I used that bold typography for the month. And here is my YouTube tracker as well as my self-education tracker on things that will hopefully help me become a better anti-racist and a better ally to the black community and um, just more educated on all kinds of things so if you have any additional resources you think i should look into feel free to comment them down below and then lastly here is my weekly spread and you know it's not the prettiest i've ever done but i think it will still be functional and you know that's all you can ask for in a bullet journal i've even you know left my space for habits and it's not like i'm doing that much in the month of july anyways kind of in a limbo between finishing college and starting my job, so it is how it is. And that concludes the month of July. Thank you so much for watching my bullet journal setup video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my July setup. It is pretty simple, but I like how it turned out, and I hope you do too. In the comments down below, let me know what your July setup is, as well as if you have any books or movies, podcasts, things that you're excited to listen to and consume as you're learning more about how to be an anti-racist. Thank you for watching. I feel really privileged to be able to make donations and that you guys are helping enable that donation. It feels really special to me and I hope if you are able to that you are giving and learning and doing all that you can to support the Black, Indigenous, people of color in our country and in your life. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!